is up, Monty Riders? Welcome back to Home Cut Star Wars. We are going to be doing part 10. Finally. Let me see if we're recording. Mic is on. We actually kept uh, getting interrupted. First was the equilibrium level we had to do. So now we're in equilibrium 1. And then the next was... Uh, we had to do a not to show us companion mission, which is we'll upload that later. And then I upped some skills of my characters before we started. So yeah, let's go. I don't exactly have a main team yet, honestly. I haven't decided on that yet. Oh, shiny. Sparkly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on. Let's go to the store just in case. Uh. Whoa! In the world shop, you must buy goods with the corresponding world currency. Any purchases are counted in the cumulative spending. The cumulative spending goals and rewards can be viewed here. More rewards? Oh, hey! Wow, okay. <laughs> um, hold on. So this is like buying materials. Okay. What's it? Shadow of Destruction? Oh. oh, so we can get one of them from here. Let's not buy that yet. We don't know if, um, yeah. Not yet. Any shop around us that's oh there's a quest. Nope, nope, nope. We are not getting distracted of anything else. Except this message. <laughs> March 7th. Have a look. Um, we don't The photos are not sent yet. <laughs> I took this picture of the coach. Uh, what do you think? Do you have any suggestions? What is that? Oh, it's a flowers. The aperture looks should be lower. There is nothing to nitpick with this one. What a coincidence. I think so too. If there's anything to criticize, it'll be not having me in the picture. <laughs> All right, you're it. Huh? Pokey, my official photographer. Oh, I'm gonna photograph March 7th. Ah, <sighs> well. Now that we're done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. <sighs> but thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. We promised her that our talks with Sparog would go peacefully. Oh yeah, Sabard attacked first. Sorry, I wasn't able to persuade. I forgot to be more diplomatic. Oh. You tried your best. Don't blame yourself. I should have considered such a situation in advance. And it was Svarog who attacked first. We didn't have any other choice. Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. But, we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance... Where's the stone? Why does Kokoli have it in... for us? Who is Sample character? I... Uh, uh, 
That's not of foremost concern. <laughs> What's important is that we still don't have the exact location and coordinates of the Stellaron. Nor have we figured out the reason behind Kokolia's sudden change in attitude. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Actually, I've been having some dreams. Dreams? Oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. Uh, oh. Telling Don Hang and Mark something about the voices you heard in your recent dreams. Hmm. All three dreams were the same. With Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random. If there is some meaning behind them. Huh. Maybe you're having them because... Because of the Stellaron inside him? Oh. That's my hunch. But I have no proof. <sighs> well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Also, there's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Oh, there's like some light that's like blinding me from the window. Ah! Try to cover it. Oh my gosh, that is so much better. <laughs> it's like using things to like hide myself from the light. Gertie, how are you? Yo, have you finished your work today? I just made a pot of mushroom soup. Take a break first and come try it later. I'm like very paranoid of this. My video. You would like to have a rest. You're back. I've heard from Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Svarog. Amazing. It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest. I suppose it would be good to get some sleep. Actually, I still have a lot of food. Can I hide in the closet again? <laughs> Dang it. It was so much fun with the closet. A wave of tiredness comes over you, reminding you that you haven't been rested in a long time. Even the most terrible dream won't wake you up this time. Over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town, and it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of 10, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. Dang, at 10. <sighs> that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Ugh, you're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? Uh, right. Uh, what I meant was... Uh, I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Branya. This is against the Architect's admonishments, Branya. 
Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Branya. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped. When every choice and every goal has already been made for you. <laughs> you probably can't imagine how that feels. No, I can't. But more importantly, what kind of foul language are you using? In the name of the Architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. <laughs> no. No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future Guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. If there is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds, we can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the Eternal Freeze and the Fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Sorry, that was my chihuahua if you heard that. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is very important to me. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but... As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. But why does my mother hide it from me, and why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't make sense. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. You... Hold on. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... Branya. This is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. Okay. I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But, remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. Then I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. <sighs> Very nice. Those two became true friends. Uh, that was a good sleep. <laughs> I should go meet up with March and Danhong.
Where's the team set up? Long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. Hmm. Did you have a dream again last night? Not this time. I dreamed that Hook and Pom Pom got into a squabble. <laughs> I can't remember. This one. Huh, that's weird. I bet the conductor won, right? Well then, let's go find Wildfire to discuss our next move and see if they have any new discoveries. Let's go! I can't wait to finally get back above ground! Oh! you been? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Should I roll out with this team or should I do a different team? Who's here? It's the Bane of Sfarag, the big hero of the underworld. <laughs> and the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7th. Were those lines rehearsed? Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. I speak on behalf of Natasha. By the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire a secret. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't matter anyway, whatever. Happened to trust. I'm not seeing an apology. Dang. I'm glad you don't mind. Natasha is always cautious. But she has no ill intent, as you surely have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fellow for help. I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. How do you do it? There's no need to knock us out this time, right? Of course not. This time, we'll go back through the furnace core. And why do we need? Just tell us the path you used before. Or like give us someone else. <laughs> I kind of want to press it. Uh. Please, don't be like that. We have so much history together. Can't you have a little faith? Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guide. Hold on. What about Branya? Why isn't she here? She already went back. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. What? She just ditched us and went back? How could you let her? She's not going to help us. She also has her own plan. She left without Sampo. Ugh, enough about Sampo. We need him for this trip. 
again, we can still get rid of him after we reach the surface. Wait, what? Miss Sila, I'm still here, you know. I want Sampo to stay. Oh, right. Branya told me to give you this. She left us a letter. Hmm. Could this be one of those open in case of emergency letters? I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? Stop overthinking and just open it. Pokey, March, and Don. Letter from Banya. By the time you read this letter, I should have returned to the overworld and be on my way to see my mother. I apologize for not telling you of my plan. I was afraid that you would strongly object, which might say sway my resolve. Madam Kokolia raised me up, and I will never be able to repay her kindness. She taught me countless life lessons and virtues, as well as how to defend ba Belabog and its people. Even though she has lately made certain decisions that puzzled me, I can't let go of all the precious memories I have with her. I must communicate my point of views and thoughts to her honestly and seek to arrive at a mutual understanding of her. This is my goal as a daughter, but also my duty as a silver main guard. But I'm aware of the risks I might face on the journey. So if I fail to win my mother's approval or if something happens to me, please forward this letter to the Londa siblings and ask for their help. Londa? Sir, Sir and Jampard are honorable people with enormous power in Bellabog, and I have complete faith in them. I am sure to, they will unreservedly help you in s your search for the Stellaron once they see my seal and handwriting. Branya Rand. Brother and sister Landau? I know the brother must refer to Jepard, but... Who could the sister be? It was just said in the letter. Oh, Sir Ball! So she's Japard's older sister. How very astute of you. I hope nothing happens to Branya. Maybe the sister refers to Japard. She gave it some good thought. But whatever's going on in that supreme guardian's head... <sighs> even Branya might have trouble understanding. Sampo! Do you know the Landau siblings? Landau? Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past, but the sister? <laughs> She's much scarier. Uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. Uh, we can set out at any time. Just come find me when you're ready. <laughs> um. What? Sorry for the you know, the loudness. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And I just made a whole video and everything. And... <laughs> Sorry, people. I guess you're gonna have to wait a bit longer for me to get the Trailblazer 24. Trailblazer guy. Clearing couches or experiencing the stimulated universe or the Forgotten Hall. All oh, great ways to increase your trailblaze level. Calxus Stimulated Universe Forgotten Hall. <sighs> okay. Dr. Dig Outsider. What the? Outsider, I finally got your contact. I have something to tell you. Boss Scott has been talking every day about how we need to try some business models. He's quite worked up about it. this. If you have time, you can chat with him. I'm telling you, we can make a ton of money. Who the heck are you? Who is Scott? Never heard of him. 
Hey, don't be like that. Boss God is the most powerful man in the underworld. Loads of people want to be his friend. Anyway, go talk to Boss God when you have time. I guarantee it's going to be a deal for you. Don't forget to patronize the club when you make fortune. How much? 250. They're giving us quite some stuff here. I guess we could do it. What level are we? Okay. Yeah, we got we got some time to go. Mm-hmm. Mm Another companion mission. Are you the honorary member of the moles? I am Pitch Dark Hook the Great. I brought Julian stuff to message you. I'm not good at typing it. It's so difficult, right? I need your help. Come find me. Don't you ever tell the old witch, otherwise are you, you are done for. We got another companion mission for Hook. Dang, I didn't expect another one. I thought it would be like hangout events, like with uh, Genshin. Sorry, I'm making everything sense from this game to put it with Genshin, so then I'm not so confused. But they do have more reward systems than that Genshin, like, jeez. I should stop this uh, uh, name of part 10. Let's leave it that long of a video. <laughs> Bye, everybody.